you know, sometimes people look at herbs and look at drugs as these are things that we substitute one for another, and they really act totally different. So there's a place for antibiotic therapy and a place for herbal therapy. So when you're talking about herbs, you're talking about the full spectrum of the chemicals being produced by the plants because plants are protecting themselves against a range of different kinds of microbes. You know, we have a cellular immune system, whereas plants have a biochemical immune system. So they are producing a wide range of chemical substances, not only to affect bacteria, but to also to affect viruses, yeast, protozoa, the full range of microbes. And so it's not as potent as an antibiotic. Like if somebody comes in with an acute pneumonia, I'm going to treat them with an antibiotic because the herbs aren't going to get them where I need them to be fast enough. But when you look at a situation where you have someone that has a chronic illness that their immune system isn't functioning well, they've got not just one microbe in their body like an acute pneumonia, but everything, all the microbes in their tissues are starting to thrive because the immune system just can't keep a lid on it anymore. So you need this chronic suppressive therapy to knock that thing down, not for a week or two, but months and sometimes even years. In fact, I took herbal therapy in pretty intense antimicrobial herbs for more than five years, which really it's hard for physicians to get their head around that because we're used to fast acting antibiotics, but the herbs are acting differently. And because the herbs don't affect normal flora, you can do it long term. So it's one of those things that works out in nature. You know, the plant can't produce things that are going to kill off the things that are favorable, that are helping it. It wants to kill off potential pathogens. So there are a lot of herbs that have pretty strong antimicrobial properties. And these are the herbs that we typically use in Lyme disease. So they definitely have a place. It is quickly uh, becoming apparent that chronic herbal therapy for chronic Lyme is probably the best thing that you can do for it. And that's being supported by not only thousands and thousands of people that have been using it, but also uh, recently Johns Hopkins produced a study that they took some of the herbs that I recommend and uh, found that they were actually more effective in suppressing Borrelia than antibiotics were. 